guys can see I got a haircut for some of you guys this might not be short hair but for me if you guys have been watching my channel my hair has always been long always up until more recently I've been cutting it shorter and shorter and every time I'm always like yeah let's go a little shorter so that's why it's as short as it is right now um, and I'm gonna show you guys how I style it how I get this hair so it's actually even faster I know in this video it might seem like it's a lot of steps um, but honestly when I do it it literally takes me like 10 minutes at most maybe 15 minutes if I'm taking like a lot of time but this is seriously really really fast if any of you guys have shorter hair then you can try some of these tips and some of the things that I do or maybe even some of the products that I use um, but yeah I'm not gonna ramble on too much I hope you guys enjoy it if you guys do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and let's jump into it okay so this is what my hair looks like after I get out of the shower and I just put on my makeup I'm going to start with dry shampoo this is the detox dry shampoo by dry bar this isn't my favorite one by any means but I bought it at Sephora and they're like $20 so I'm going to put it to good use and usually I like to actually do this while my hair is still in a ponytail and I do this just because if I throw it down then I'm going to have to like lift it and separate and then spray throughout so this way I can just spray on like every piece of hair so then I look a little crazy like this um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and now throw my hair down so yes I go a little crazy on the dry shampoo because my hair gets extremely oily this is second day hair usually for most people this would be like third or fourth day hair but I'm an oil blob <laughs> then I'm just gonna brush it out so then my hair usually looks a little crazy like this and there's usually a dent in it from the ponytail that I had. So that's why I'm going to take a straightener. If I had clean hair, I usually don't need a straightener, but I am going to straighten out these pieces. I'm just taking my KQC straightener. I've had this for ages. So you guys can see I'm really just taking the straightener and trying to take out that kink that's in my hair. And then all these hairs that are curling in, I don't want that either, so I am going to straighten that part out too. Are you with me? This might seem a little time consuming, but it's actually super fast. <laughs> so I'm done with this side, I'm gonna move on to this side. Are you with me? Alright, so now my hair is pretty much all straightened and not perfectly straightened by any means. But that's only because I had a round brush dry before. If I don't do that round brush dry, Brow brush dry, usually my hair doesn't have that much of a wave, it's just um, a messy kind of look. So now I'm going to move on to the curls, which is also super quick. Okay, so I'm just going to part my hair into two sections. And I'm using the Numi 32mm wand. I've been using this for ages as well. So I'm just going to take um, little sections, probably about an inch to two inches thick. Like I'll eventually start grabbing like even thicker pieces. And the main trick here is you guys can see I have like two inches sticking out of my hair down here can you guys like see this hair right here so that's what I'm doing I literally leave it in only for like a few seconds you guys saw while I was talking next piece see so you guys can see this piece is even thicker like I'll seriously grab such huge chunks but here's the main thing is leaving out those like two inches at the very end because I want it to be like straight down there so that's what gives it the look that I like Okay, so that took like two minutes. Um, this side is curled the way I want it. I'm going to just spray a tiny bit of this Joico Power Pray, uh, Power Pray, Power Spray hairspray. Um, this is a very, very strong holding um, hairspray, so I'm only going to spray a little bit. Just a few spritz, and now I'm going to move on to this side. Also, I make sure that the curling iron is behind my hair, so it's curling away from my face. A little spritz on this side as well then I'm gonna just take the top down and I'm going to section both of these pieces and bring them forward okay so the only difference with the top part is that I'm going to be extra cautious and careful of how long I leave the curling iron in because I really just want like a wave I don't want tight curls whatsoever that's pretty much it this will literally take me like another few minutes one, two, three. They are literally the quickest pieces. Alright, 
so we're almost done. Just a few more steps. I'm just going to take this top piece up here and then just tease it a tiny bit. A little bit of hairspray. And yeah, that's totally fine. I know it looks crazy, but it'll come right down. Are you with me? Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of hairspray throughout my hair here. And then I'm gonna work on this side and do the same exact thing. Drink some margaritas by Then I'm just messing with it and fixing it around. So then once you've messed with it and have it exactly how you want it, you can just add a little more hairspray. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And that completes everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, like I said, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already. Oh, and if you guys are curious about the cut and color, I just asked her to feather it out a ton and I did ask her to put in a few more layers before I had more of that like blunt to like Khloe Kardashian haircut um, because that's what I wanted but I got over it. So now there are a lot more layers and it is super texturized. So I'm loving it. Just a little side note. And then as far as the color, I have a balayage slash like ombre kind of hair. Uh, this was not done in just one sitting. I've gotten my hair done a handful of times. so. This has been a ton of hair processes and hair colors and whatnot, but it's technically like a balayage of ombre. I have an entire video explaining everything and showing you guys the first time that I had it lightened. So if you guys want to check that out, I will have that link down below. Um, but anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.